PSA Reloaded, man. It's your boy, 3 Man. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram. Y'all see where the follow your boy at, man. Hit the like button also. I appreciate that. Y'all see the title of this one, man. Let's talk about it. So, it took 27 years. 27 years. September 7th. Tupac Shakur, 1996, 1996, man, you know, I lived through the East Coast, West Coast Wars, I lived through us having to put an RIP sign next to Tupac, I was here for Biggie, I lived through the Tupac era, one of the greatest rappers of all time, one of the most influential rappers of all time to grace us was Mr. Tupac Shakur. The arrest, the arrest of 60 year old Dwayne Keith Davis, AKA Keefy e. D arrested the other yesterday morning. A Compton representative. We know about the infamous Tupac and Suge Knight Mike Tyson fight in Las Vegas. We know about the Orlando Anderson situation. We know about Pac and them leaving the, leaving the facility, jumping in their vehicle. Shots rang out. We lose Tupac. I remember this. Certain things in your mind, even as an older person now, I remember where I was at. I remember seeing people crying. I remember the, the magazines. I remember the articles. I remember all of this. I remember people blaming Puffy and Big for the, 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 um, the demise of, of Tupac Shakur. I remember that. Hmm. Is this justice for Tupac Shakur? Is it justice? Does his family feel justice has been served. Something, something I some people say, oh, it took them long enough. Yes, you can say it took them long enough. Fine. But sometimes, people, it doesn't matter how long it takes. What's done in the dark comes in the light. It comes in the light. 60 years old to get arrested for murder? Bruh. Listen, man, whether you like Tupac's music or not, well, this is not about music right now. This is about the legacy. This is about justice being served for, for uh, uh, one of the most brilliant minds in rap music. It was Tupac. Very intelligent black man. That was Tupac. What he meant to the culture of hip hop, the black culture. Everywhere. <laughs> Listen, man, you had Math Hoffa, who's born in Brooklyn, New York. He didn't make Pac, I mean, Biggie Juice shirts. He made Pac Juice shirts. Like, that, like, think about that. Yes, Pac got New York roots. We know that, but I'm just saying. How did the Las Vegas, Nevada police get evidence at someone's home after 27 years for a murder case? Let that breathe. For a murder case. Mm. And real quick, I see people Pointing the finger at Vlad TV. Oh, you niggas better stop it. You niggas stop blaming Vlad TV for when you when the rappers go on this man's shows and incriminate themselves because they're getting some money sent to the Cash App or Zelle from Vlad TV to come up there and open up them blood clout mouth. Or oh, never shut up their blood clout mouth. A couple of dollars 
will make you niggas go on Vlad TV and tell your old story. While the Alphabet Boys, shout out to Jeezy, the Alphabet Boys will sit there and watch these joints and use this on you. Don't y'all understand that? So far, so, so, some dollars, because I, I would be interested if Vlad was not giving these niggas money, would they come up there on their own to tell their story? Would they? Would they? The man Keith broke down the whole situation to Vlad. How they pulled up the Tupac with Orlando. He, he, he told the whole story. I can't get mad at Vlad. I got to get mad at you Negroes going up and then criminating yourself and telling the whole story. I know Biggie had a song called I Got a Story to Tell. That be y'all rappers. Y'all got stories to tell, huh? He told word verbatim. He talked about Pac having a, had a pistol. And before you niggas, like I said, you blame Vlad. Point at your people that's going in to talk. How many of them death row bodyguards went up to Vlad TV to tell stories? How many people did? I'll wait. How do you self-profess, self-proclaim gangsters and G's run your mouth? You know what's funny? The gangster dudes run their mouth more than the regular civilians. You feel me? Don't be surprised if Vlad uploads old interviews. Don't be surprised. Because Vlad, with this, let us be honest, how many people ran back to watch the Keith Vlad TV within the last 24 hours? Vlad has a Hall of Fame interview if we're keeping it tall with this, with this man. Hopefully you Negroes, gangster dudes, you see, they'll, they'll, come, they'll come knocking on your door 27 years later. Knock, knock. Who is this? The brother voluntarily confessed to Vlad. He told Vlad, Vlad he's going to keep talking Vlad. I don't want to talk about that. Let them buy the book. Vlad says, I'm going to read something from the book. And then Keith continues to talk. Well, listen, I hope this is justice for Tupac Shakur. Okay? So that's what it is, man. Leave comments at the bottom, man. It's your boy three. One.